won't have the syrup or butter on the French toast, but I made French toast and bacon for brunch today. Good girl, bring your toy. Good girl, bring your toy to mama. So I can show them your cute new collar that mama bee got you. My mom also got her that little bumblebee toy. Yeah? Yeah? Let me see. Let me see your collar. Let mama see. It matches her little um, name tag, too. It's so cute. That's it. Good girl. Down. Good girl. Roll over. Good girl, honey. Good girl. <laughs> Such a smart girl. So I'm making a recipe I saw on Instagram, but I think it was also on TikTok. So you take a tortilla and you cut it down the center point down just on one side. And I have peanut butter on one side. It's actually the Justin's honey peanut butter. I just did a packet of it, um, but I mean two tablespoons maybe. And then I did a tablespoon of Smucker's strawberry jam. And then I'm going to do banana slices on both of the other sides. And then I'm just going to fold it over this way, then that way, then that way, and kind of pan fry it a little bit just to get it hot. I'll show you that step in a second. I'm gonna try this with you guys now. It has everything, the peanut butter, banana, and the jelly. That's really good. So I have two exciting Valentine's themed boxes to share with you guys. These are from J.Q. Dickinson Appalachian Mercantile. So they bring all of the goods from the artisans in that area and they do the seasonal boxes. Um, and like I said, there's one for him and one for her. So let's just see which one this is at the top. Beautiful packaging too. They come wrapped like this. So this one is for him. And these are the items that are in the box, but I will unbox this and share them with you as well, of course, individually. But what's really cool is they give you a little information like about where it's located, who made it. I think that's pretty cool. Now let me show you the her. And here's the one for her. I will um, make sure to link all of their information down below if you want to get one of these as a gift for somebody or for yourself. Okay, let's go ahead and open the for her one first. If you hear rustling, it's Holly being crazy down below. <laughs> wow, look at how beautiful these goodies are. I love this. So this is the, let's see, botanical print silk scarf from Barbara Campbell Designs. Wow, how pretty. So feminine and pretty, I love that. I love the color. And we have a candle, I think, by Laneige, Satsuma, and Saffron. Oh, that smells like a, oh yeah, that smells like a spa candle. It has a very lemony, fresh scent to it. Really like the jar it's in. And we've got some chocolate, heck yes. Milk chocolate with sea salt, organic. And then I have some lavender mineral infused body butter, brickstone soaps. And let's see what's inside of here. It's a really pretty satin bag. Oh, that is so cool. Look at this perfume. Virginia Perfume Company, classic number nine, Grand Juss. All right, let's see how this took smells. took a sniff and it has more of like a powdery scent and it reminds me a lot of this Spanish cologne that my mom used to have um, when we were kids that she used to put in our hair after we took a bath. And so I'm gonna bring this to my mom for her to um, smell it because it was definitely nostalgic and you can tell it's very concentrated so you don't need a lot of it, which is nice. Okay, that was an awesome box. Now I'm gonna open the one for him, but I'm not gonna rustle it around too much because I'm obviously gonna go ahead and give it to Chris since these will be goodies for him. So let's go ahead and untie this one. Okay, here's a reminder of what's in the for him. So this is really cool. I think I like the for him even more than the for her, <laughs> to be honest. So so these are whiskey glasses and even has a place for you to put your thumb. 
not gonna lose your glass that way. <laughs> oh my gosh, so pretty, really nice. And then there's also a Black Dog Ironworks hand forged bottle opener. This is heavy, this is really nice. And then there is some smoked, oh, bourbon barrel smoked salt. Oh, that's interesting. Cool. He also got some of the milk chocolate with sea salt. And then we have some boot jack solid cologne. And I did smell this. It smells really good. And this is what it looks like. You just take a little bit, warm it with your um, fingertips and put it on. It's so good. I think that this is going to smell really good on him. And then the last thing is a muddler. Native cherry cocktail um, muddler. Yeah. Very cool. It's even stamped or signed. So this is totally different. Something new and you're supporting businesses like small businesses. So I would definitely say check them out and I will leave it linked below. So tonight we're trying out the HelloFresh sweet chili chicken bowls with red bell peppers and candied peanuts. Really, candy peanuts, you just coat it with water and sugar a little bit, the peanuts. Uh, anyways, so that's what I made for tonight. We're about to eat. It smells really good. I feel like I say that hey every day. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Um, I just wanted to check in really quick because I feel like this week's been kind of boring. <laughs> there hasn't been much going on for me to vlog, but I would just thought I would show you. I did something a little different with my hair today. I kind of, I twisted it, but then I tied it in the back together, the two sides, and it kind of gave me a little more lift, I think, on the top. As you guys know, my hair has thinned quite a bit over the years um, for many factors, but I think it's, it's looking pretty good today after I curled it and gave it all the volume and texturizing sprays and all that good stuff. Um, and then I have my sweater from Forever 21 on today. My lip color is Pillow Talk. Um, but yeah, it's just gonna be another, another day at work, but I thought I'd say quick hi first. All right, tonight making the HelloFresh pork and poblano tacos. So I did a lot of chopping. Let me just say a lot of chopping. So I wanted to bear witness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm going to start making the pork for the tacos now. And here's what they look like. I know there's a lot of HelloFresh this week, but I thought I'd still share it with you guys. I did kind of tweak it a little. I added chicken to it. Um, this chicken here specifically, I got it at Costco. But this is the recipe, creamy lemon spinach ricotta ravioli. So I'm going to be making a Valentine charcuterie board this weekend. And I was looking at like cute little treats on like my grocery order when I was making it on Walmart. Um, little app and they had these brownies that were super cute for Valentine's Day. They were little mini brownies like this size with Valentine's sprinkles. They wanted like five bucks for them. I'm like, there's no way. And I thought I might as well make them a little healthier by using my sugar-free brownie uh, mix. I'm using this, a package of sugar-free pudding chocolate mix. I used avocado oil, but a third of a cup of oil. And then there's three tablespoons of water and one egg in here as well. And yes, I'm gonna totally ruin it and put a little bit of full calorie, full sugar frosting, but I won't put too much. Just like a little bit since they're individual little mini ones. And then look at these cute Valentine sprinkles I've had for a while. Like, I guess, oh, this is only the second year I'm using them. I forget what I used them for previously, but they're so cute. They have little lips and hearts. And I got these at TJ Maxx. So here's how my little mini brownies came out. I just did little liners so it would be easier and more sanitary for everyone because I'm going to um, have these at our Super Bowl party too. 
party. I say loosely because it's just my dad and my mom and Chris and I. Um, but so these are how the brownies turned out. I put them in only for 12 minutes and they're perfect fudgy consistency. And then I did do one a little too early just to show you a little tester of the frosting with the cute sprinkles. As you can see, it's not a lot. Um, just a little hint to bring some Valentine spirit to the day. All right, I made a little bit of a mess with the sprinkles, but it'll be cute on the board tomorrow. All right, so don't mind my little headband here. I just have no makeup on it's early in the morning, but I wanted to show you my pajamas and robes that I've been wearing from Sayoro. Um, it's a website that has so much really beautiful pajama sets and really nice robes, different kind of fabrics too. So I thought I would share them with you today and I will leave all the information linked below. These obviously would have been so cute at Christmas time because I just love the pattern, the plaid prints and the colors. These are my favorite of all the PJs that I have from them because um, they are the warmest and the coziest. And I love that they match and they just fit me perfectly. They're so comfortable. Okay, I'm going to show you one other set that's silky, and I think I'm going to really like it transitioning into spring um, because I love that kind of fabric when it's a little bit warmer out. All right, here are my silky gray pair. They are so, so soft and silky. And then, of course, they have a matching bottom. Probably would go up a size in this fabric, but it's so... So cozy still. And I'm gonna show you the robe that I've been wearing the most often. I have two different robes. One that's definitely like a lighter cotton fabric that's not as warm. And I actually have that downstairs in the beauty room because I've been wearing it so much. And then I have a heavier one that I wear when it's colder in the morning. So let me show you. All right, so this is the one that I love to wear when I first get out of the shower because it kind of has that towel fabric. It's 100% cotton, this one. And it is so warm. So, and I actually really do like the color. It's kind of like an evergreen or almost like a turquoise color. It's really pretty, really nice and warm and cozy. And once I get downstairs into the beauty room, I'll show you my other robe that's a little bit lighter, which I think will be great for spring and summer. All right, so this robe is the other one. It is still 100% cotton, but it is three quarter sleeves and it is a little bit of a thinner, not as thick fabric, but it is still warm and it has pockets and it's really nice and long, so it covers you up still. And it's more of like a purpley pink color. But yeah, I really like it. All right, hey guys, it's Saturday, and been pretty productive today, getting stuff done. I went to Target because I needed a few things for a Valentine charcuterie board that I'm putting together, which you will see on Instagram and probably next week's vlog. Um, so yeah, I just got a couple of little candies that were on sale and I'll show you them when I get home. But I also was looking at the dollar spot because some of you told me that these really cute Easter things are coming out. I had zero luck. There was just like spring cleaning and organizing like items at this one. So I don't think I have time to go to any more today, but maybe I'll go to one or two tomorrow and let you know if I see anything. And of course you'll see a video up if I do. Um, but for right now I have not found anything worth mentioning. All right, so these are the goodies. Here, are the, of course, the, the girls are waiting to get some scraps of something, but chocolate's not happening, girls. Yeah. <laughs> so I um, actually got the kids some Valentines. I'm not going to really share that. But I got some kisses that are red, pink, and silver, some Reese hearts, some little cinnamon heart candy, M&Ms that are all Valentines, like Cupid little things, and then some more of the Dove hearts. And then I also saw these. And since I'm doing the charcuterie board when my parents are over, I know my mom loves marshmallow hearts and I just thought they'd look really cute on the board. So I got two of these and look what I found, the Lady Gaga Oreos. They're limited edition and they're just green and pink. I don't think that they're a different flavor. Pink colored golden cookies with green cream. So Chris and I are gonna try these out today. I love the packaging. And then I'll put those in the, on the charcuterie board as well. And then I did get this, um, Besides candy, <laughs> I did get this cute little basket to put on our, um, on the toilet so I can put toilet paper in the top and not have it look ugly. Get it. Get it, babies. <laughs> but 
a little package from Built Bar, and I'm so excited to try these. Um, I don't know when these are going to be released. If I if they're going, if I already have the information about when they're going to be released, I will share that right here. And if not, I will tell you very soon. But I will try this on camera with you guys. Coconut brownie chunk. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Wow. Let's see what the calories are on these. So these are 150 calories, 4 grams of fat, 3 sugars, and 15 proteins. All right, let's try it. You guys, I can smell it through the package, and it smells like an Almond Joy. First of all, look at that. It has, like, chunks of something good. I'm guessing brownie chunks. All right, I'm going to take a bite. There's real brownie chunks in there. Wow, it tastes like a candy bar. I think this is my favorite built bar ever. Because I love coconut, I love brownie. It's so good. I can't wait for Chris to taste this one. So as I finish this delicious built bar, um, no joke, my favorite flavor. I really hope they make that permanent. Um, Chris is picking us up some dinner. I really probably shouldn't finish this built bar now that I'm thinking about it. Because <laughs> he's picking us up some dinner. And then um, I'm going to edit this vlog. But he surprised me earlier with watching The Notebook. And it was so nice and stuff.